morning guys okay so it's pretty early in the morning it's about seven something i've been up for a while but i am still a little sleepy but i was able to get some sleep last night but really what i want to do is um come on early this morning and give you guys some more scriptures on peace since i told y'all between today and tomorrow i will come on doing um the scriptures on peace and then um the scriptures on peace prosperity and then um like tomorrow between like tomorrow and the weekend i'm gonna come on we're gonna read a lot more of the psalms we're gonna continue on our psalms bible reading and we're going to read some more scriptures on prosperity. And I have some other videos to release for you guys as well. Just have to upload them. But for this morning, good morning. We're going to look at just a few scriptures on peace. We will continue the rest this week. And um, if y'all hear my son in the background or the AC, he's still asleep. Um, I want to do this video before it's time to get him up. You know, um, put him on his clothes, wash him up, let him wash his face, brush his teeth, eat his breakfast and get ready for his Google Classroom with his teacher and um, the, all the work he got to do today and, you know, before going into that mode. So um, I pray that y'all morning is, is blessed and I pray that you all have a, a great day and that this be a phenomenal and blessed week for you all, no matter what. So let's start with, um, I wrote out a little bit. Let's start with number six, 24 through 26. And just bear with me, guys, because like I said, um, it's, it's, it's pretty, um, let me just kind of get it up. But the Lord was like, can I do this video early for him? So I'm like, yeah, let me do this video for you, Lord. So the priestly blessing is a familiar blessing. I would like you all to um, meditate on these scriptures that we're reading together this morning. Confess these over yourself, over every of your life. Confess them over your family. And you will see. You will see the difference, you know, um, number six. Actually, guys, I said 24 through 26, but let's actually do 22. Let's do 22 through 27. But the focal verses is 24 and 26 because we're talking about peace this morning. And, you know, so the Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they so they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. So that's number 6, 24 to 26. Now let's go to John, John 16, 33. John. Okay, we just read um, John like 14 through 17 the other day, but I want to just focus in on 33 because we just read it, so I won't um, read the full thing. Okay, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And if you didn't get a chance to listen to our John series or check out the videos that we've done on John, just literally um, a couple days ago read like John 14 through 17 but if you missed those videos basically John um, 16 is talking about a little continuation of 15 the work of the Holy Spirit and the disciples grief will turn to joy so that's kind of like why he gave them this 33 towards the end so next let's go to um, John 14 27 Actually, I can throw that away because I already did that one. I already did that video. Okay. So John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So that's a word for someone. Um, let's go now. I'm trying to see, did I write any more in John? Let's go to Philippians 4, 6 through 7. And bear with me, guys, because I got to, I'm holding the phone in, flipping, and recording. So just kind of bear with me. Okay, let's read Philippians 4. Actually, let's read Philippians 4, 4 through 8. But 6 through 7 is the focal point. But let's read 4, 4 through 8. 
Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Somebody say that. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So that's Philippians 4, 4 through 8. But the um, scripture verses is 6 through 7. Let me see. Do I have any more back here? Let's go to Matthew. Matthew 5, 9. Make me some tea this morning. Okay, Matthew 5. We've read this before multiple times too, but this like verse 1 through um, 12 is talking like the Beatitudes and the blessings. But I just want to read 9 this morning. So, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Um... What other ones I have that I can do in um, the Gospels? I don't think there's no more for in the Gospels that I wrote down. I'm looking at my notes out as well. And my other hand, one hand for the scriptures, one hand the, the videos. Bear me a second. Let's go to First Peter three ten through eleven. So and we did do a series on Peter, like First Peter. Um, but if you want to read it in its full context, it's talking about wives and husbands and suffering for doing good. But today, let's just read. Let's actually read 8 through 11. Let's read 8 through 11. Let's talk about suffering for doing good. But the focal point is 10 through 11. Okay. Finally, all of you live in harmony with one another. Be sympathetic. Love as brothers. Be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult, but with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. For whoever would love life and see good days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from deceitful speech. He must turn from evil and do good. He must seek peace and pursue it. Amen. So let's go to, um. we got like three more after this next scripture I'm about to read, and then I'm going to close this video. For today, um, Second Thessalonians three sixteen, which I think is back, yeah, back this way. Yeah. Okay, Second Thessalonians in its full context talk about requests for prayer, warning against idleness, and final greetings, but. Let's read um, just it's in the final greetings part 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Amen. And you know, if you with the Lord, he's going to give you his peace. He's going to give you his supernatural peace. He's going to be with you. He's going to comfort you. He's going to sustain you. He's going to provide. He can be everything you need and more. The thing about us as humans you know we run out of strength we have to recharge we have to eat we have to take a break we have to rest we have to do something to recharge etc etc right and whatever like your recreation or recharge is but for the most part all of us can identify with okay we have to eat okay there have to be certain times where our body have to rest or recharge if it's to exercise or whatever the thing about god is he does not run out of strength. He does not run out of energy. So literally, everything you literally need him to be and more, he will be. I know that, and I know many of you know that. And we, as we continue on in our Christian journey and throughout life, we're going to see even more and more of our God. So never, you know, feel like he run out of strength or nothing. We've done so many teachings on the power of God, the names of God. Just how glorious and mighty and powerful he is. So, perfectly, someone is encouraged um, by that word. Um, not Philippians. 
I love that um Philippians 4 4 through 8 but Psalms 4 8 and I think we're on Psalms 40 yeah we're on Psalms 40 we're gonna um I'm gonna pick up some more Psalms tomorrow <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do two videos for y'all tomorrow Psalms video by itself Lord's will excuse me and also um videos on prosperity um and we talked about prosperity is not just limited to money God wants us to be prosperous in every area of our life, our soul, spirit, body, our relationships, our finances, um, our creativity, our purpose, our destiny. We've done some teachings on that um, prior. We talked about that also at the beginning of this month, and I told y'all how this month we was going to be going a little bit deeper um, with um, peace and prosperity. Good morning to the birds. Be up chirping, praising God. Amen. I feel like we need to be up praising God too. I'm not saying we're not doing it, but every day. And you know, let me hurry up and get off this video before I just begin to just be talking. Um, which I'm not saying anything wrong, but I'm I'm, I'm trying to after I get off this video, I'm, I'm gonna um get my son breakfast and do all that stuff early. So when he wake up, he already up, and I can just set him up. And I'm gonna be working on the book today as well and doing some other stuff. So. You know, everything in in, per, in life has purpose, whether it's being used for a wrong person, purpose or um, a good purpose. You don't have purpose, you know. And originally, it was never God's intention for no one to go and have a wrong purpose. You know, we have talked about that as well. But, you know, the birds can be up praising God. And I'm not saying every bird is holy, but I'm just saying they could be up chirping. Singing praise unto God. No matter what we dealing with or going through, we need to be up every day praying to God, giving Him something, acknowledging Him. He is good, no matter what. So, um, Psalms four eight. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for You alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. That Psalms four eight. Let's read Isaiah 26, 3, and then we'll do Colossians 3, 13, and then I'm going to close. I want to say it's back this way. Yeah. Okay. Isaiah 26, 3 says, you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast. That's the air conditioner. Sorry. You will keep in perfect peace. Him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Let me just throw this four in there. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord is the rock eternal. And then let's go to Colossians 3.13. Oh, I was supposed to read this. 11. I really need to go through this and make a note. Because I'm not supposed to read that. Not to you guys, for me. Okay, Colossians 3, we're going to actually do 13 through 15. We have read this multiple times before, but we're going to revisit it again. Um, basically, in this full context, it's talking about uh, rules for holy living and rules for Christian household. But let's do 12. What's wrong with doing 12? Let's do 12 through... Um, if, let's do 12 through 17. Y'all know I really do love the Bible. But the focal point is 13. Because sometimes that's how I'll be. I'll be like, well, let me just read this verse. And then they get it in a more fuller context. Or, you know, just to really get more out of it, I'll read a few more. Now, sometimes I'll just read just the verse. But then sometimes I'm like, I want to dig a little deeper with this, with this scripture. So let's just do 12 through 17. But the focal point is 13. And we is going to close the video with this. <laughs> So therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. I think I wrote 13, but I meant to put 15 because, yeah, I did. See how I wrote it? Well, y'all can't really see how I wrote it because it's in my other hand. But I meant to put 15, let the peace of Christ. Well, I'm glad we are reading all of this, though, anyway. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. 
Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, since as members of one body you are called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So peace and blessings, guys. Y'all have a beautiful day. See y'all back on here soon. God bless.